Okay, what's up, what's up everyone? It is a good day today because there's a lot of cool smartphone news that is happening. Samsung is holding their unpacked event right now where they're announcing all of their new foldable phones, some new smartwatches, and also some new wireless earbuds. Um, and so there's a lot of cool stuff happening, but I was fortunate enough to be able to get a sneak peek and an early uh, access look um, at these new phones. Now I didn't get it hands on, I'm not that special anymore, but I was able to uh, get some uh, background on what some of these new devices are and what they're bringing to the plate. And the biggest thing, the biggest change this year with these new phones is going to be the price reduction. So we're gonna start talking about the new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 first. So this is their big boy foldable phone, uh, which is the follow-up to my favorite phone of uh, that I've been using here lately. And just because it's so unique and different, the Z Fold 2. Um, but this phone is bringing something really cool to the plate um, because they're really trying to make sure they uh, fix up the design, they fix up the uh, you know the weight of the phone and also make it more durable, but also make it more affordable. So this right here, is the new Galaxy Z Fold 3. It's pretty dope. So you can get it in three different colors, phantom green, phantom black, and also phantom silver. And you can see here, one of the big differences between the uh, Galaxy Z Fold 2, um, if you look on the back, is going to be, let me go back here. If you look on the back of it, it's gonna be that camera hump. So it's not as kind of, um, not as big as what you found with the uh, Z Fold 2, as you can see here, it takes up a little bit more space on the back of it, which I don't mind. Um, so this one looks pretty dope. So I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it's a very cool matte color, matte finish on the uh, the back of it. So I like that. Um, and also too, when you open it up, you still have that same 7.6 inch main display. Um, so the screen sizes on this new Z Fold 3 are the same as it was on the Z Fold 2. So 7.6 inches for the main display and 6.2 inches on the cover display. Um, but since we're already talking about the display, here's a, a good look at the different colors side by side. Um, one of the big things with the display this year is that it's going to have two new features that I think a lot of people were really wanting. Um, and one of the first ones is going to be the fact that um, the cover display now can also run at 120 hertz as far as the refresh rate. So what that means is that you're gonna get that same 120 hertz refresh rate uh, that you found with the main cover display on the Z Fold 2, but now they're bringing that over to the, the front display to try to make it a little bit more uniform. So 120 hertz to me, I think is, is really nice, and I find the benefit of it being on smartphones, some people don't, but I like the fact that they're bringing it um, to both of the, the displays this year with the Z Fold 3. Um, and then also too, what you will find is that there is now S Pen support. Yes, S Pen support for the Galaxy Fold. Now this is coming in two different versions. So you can't use the um, S Pen that you might have with your Galaxy Note laying around. And that's because they designed these new S Pens that work with the Galaxy Z Fold um, to be able to um, retract. So the pen tip itself actually retracts. So let me go ahead and get close up. So um, I don't, this is not the pen tip, but uh, the, this pen tip doesn't retract on the, on the Galaxy Note. So if you use this on the Z Fold 3 screen, it's gonna probably damage it. But these new S Pens actually retr retract. So as you apply pressure, um, they're not going to be digging into the display. And I think that's what Samsung was really um, waiting for before they decided to add S Pen support to the Z Fold 3. Um, so anyway, you have two different versions of the S Pen uh, for Fold that they sell. So the S Pen Fold Edition is kind of more similar to the regular S Pen. Um, so with that, you get Air Command where you can hold down the button and then if you have like the camera app open, you can zoom in and stuff or you can do different gestures to be able to activate different functions on your uh, Galaxy Z Fold 3. Um, then also too, it does have a cover case um, that is only, that's gonna be made for the Fold and I think I have that a little bit later on here. Yeah, here's the case, which is pretty dope. I like this case. So this is the cover case um, for the uh, 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 S Pen Fold Edition. They don't have one for the S Pen Pro, um, I believe. Um, so this one allows you to store the S Pen right there on the side of the Z Fold 3, which is cool. So it kind of slots in, you, you kind of put it down in. They made one of these cases for the Galaxy S21 Ultra that um, when that gained uh, S Pen support, uh, but you have to actually like push that S Pen into the side of it. So this one you slide down, and then also too, it does cover the front display as well. So you get a little protection all the way around. So this is how it looks on the back of the phone. Um, and this is how it looks when the phone is open. Now this uh, front case though, or the front cover for this Z Fold 3, um, you can actually fold that back. And I believe this one turns into a kickstand. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I didn't, I didn't um, I confirm that with Samsung. There is, so there are some pictures with a case that uh, makes it looks like it does have a kickstand for the Z Fold 3. I think this might be the same. 
name, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but anyway, they will be selling the case that does have like a kickstand built in. Um, so that's a good thing. And so this is how it looks where you have that. I believe this is the one that has a kickstand. So you see here, this is the cover flap for the front display that's folded um, out like so. Um, so yeah, I really like this case with the S Pen support. Uh, but yeah, going back to um, the S Pen here. So again, yeah, that S Pen Fold Edition. So you get Air Command, you get the cover case, and you get that auto retracting tip. And it's going to be very similar to what you've gotten uh, with the uh, the S Pen for the Galaxy Note series. Now the S Pen Pro is their big boy S Pen. So we go back here, you can see the size difference between the two. So the S Pen Pro, they say, has a more comfortable grip, um, but then also too has some of the latest Bluetooth controls. So um, you will will be able to use this S Pen Pro. Um, not only with the uh, Z Fold 3, but also too with um, like other devices, um, like the regular um, uh, Galaxy Note devices or like the tablet. And here's an example here of them using the Pro. So it has a little switch on the uh, actual tip here that you, on actual pin, that you actually be able to switch over from using it with a Fold, um, the Z Fold 3, and also to using it with a uh, another device that takes just like a regular stylus. Um, so that's what that um, addition will be able to give you. And also it does have onboard memory um, and the more comfortable grip as I talked about, and it still does have that auto attracting tip, of course, to allow you to be able to use it uh, with the uh, Galaxy Z Fold 3. So this is huge. This is where we're actually seeing the like transition from the Galaxy Note um, over to this Galaxy Fold being that phone that they really aimed at trying to get this uh, for people who want to take notes, people who want to do a lot of different things. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. So one of the, again, benefits of having this S Pen is that if you are watching a YouTube video, as you're saying, and you, as you see in here, and you want to take a note, boom, you can quickly do that. And this um, Galaxy Fold 3 still does have that fold and hold function that we got with the Galaxy Z Fold 2. So you're able to kind of fold it up and that's how you can have that video playing up at an angle where you can watch it, but then have the bottom part of the uh, phone sitting there at the bottom so you can go ahead and use the, um, the stylus like so. So it's, it's really useful. Again, I love the Galaxy Note. I wish I had it when I was in college uh, back in the day, but back when I was in college, the only thing we had was the Motorola Razor, so we didn't have anything like this. Um, but yeah, you can see that that crease there is still down the, uh, the main cover, the main display here on this phone. So you still have that crease. Um, they didn't really talk about the, the crease decreasing at all. Um, get it decreasing. Um, but they did talk about, um, them trying to make sure that the, uh, the hinge was more reinforced. So the hinge for this new Z Fold 3, um, the metal hinge is made with their armor aluminum, that's they're calling it, which is gonna make the device overall lighter, but also stronger. Um, so that's a good thing. And again, it still gives you that fold and hold. Then also too, as far as like um, dust resistance with this hinge, they make those little um, bristles that they talked about before, uh, where it's kind of trapping the dust and dirt before it can get inside of the phone. Uh, they made that actually, I think they made them smaller and more efficient. Um, so they will be better at doing that. And um, speaking of, Speaking of water and dust resistance, um, this thing is also now, the Z Fold 3 is rated IP, X8, water resistance, dust resistance, and this is the first water resistant foldable phone out on the market. So the good thing about this is that Samsung already is kind of leading the foldable phones. Like you got Huawei's making some foldable phones. Um, they're not really great to use in the US is because you don't have access to like the Google apps and stuff. Um, you have the Motorola Razr, which is more like a clamshell flip phone. Um, but with this, Z Fold 3 and also the Z Flip 3, which I will be talking about here soon, they have rated IPX8 water resistance. So this means that, yeah, you can walk in the rain now. You can be more comfortable with this phone. And I think that's one of the things where we, we saw with you know, people looking at these foldable phones is that they, they were really worried about the durability. So Samsung is addressing that here with this. And I think this is the big step. And this is not like a, you know, new feature, like new cameras or something, but a very important feature to get people um, to be interested in using them. So I'm gonna hit, hit, head over here in the chat room. Hey, what's up everyone watching me live? I appreciate that. If you're watching this video after the fact, I'm doing this live right here on YouTube. Um, so Steven says, the king here, what's up Steven? Uh, uh, Khaled says the S Pen is catchy. Yes, it is. Uh, Nick says, how does the S Pen work for left-handed people? It sucks for, uh, it sucks for you on the Galaxy Note. Um, I don't know. So I'm right-handed and I haven't really looked into that. Um, I don't think they talked about that at all. Um, so yeah, I really don't know about the experience of using the, um, uh, the S Pen for, uh, for left-handed users. Um, what's the price? Oh, you know what? Let's get to that right now. So the price of this new Galaxy Z Fold 3 is $17.99, $17.99. So they dropped the price 
of the Z Fold 3 from $2,000 or $19.99, that was the official price, to $17.99, so you're saving $200. So what this means is that Samsung is one, trying to price this at something that's gonna be a little bit more attractive, right? And it still is up there. You know, a lot of people still aren't gonna to wanna to pay that, right? Um, but they're pricing this at $17.99, and I think that, again, they're trying to get this market more saturated with people buying it. Um, but then also, too, it's, it shows that they're getting better at making this phone, making their foldable phones. You know, I think in the beginning, this was something that was brand new technology, and um, definitely when you're making products like this, really with any smartphone, it's all about trying to um, make them efficient because there's always some type of failure rate during the manufacturing process. Uh, but I think with them being confident and dropping this price down to $17.99 for the Z Fold 3, uh, I think that's good. I'm happy with that. And so uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it right now. So the Z Flip 3, though, the Z Flip 3, uh, this cost is going to cost $1,000. So $9.99 is the price point for the Z Flip 3. So a price drop on both of these foldable phones. So you get $17.99 for the Z Fold, Z Fold 3, and also you have $9.99 for the Z Flip 3. So they're coming aggressive with the price point. And again, I'm gonna get to the Z Flip 3 in a second, but let's finish up on the, uh, the Z Fold 3 here. Um, so also with the Z Fold 3, you do have uh, better multitasking. So um, what they're doing with their new labs feature, which is kind of where they're working on kind of new features um, and you can opt in to use the labs feature, is basically they're allowing you to have uh, better access to running multiple apps on the screen at the same time. So not only is Samsung working with uh, the likes of like Microsoft and other companies to make their apps more compatible with foldable displays and stuff, um, but they're also going to be using this feature where I, I'm, I'm just assuming that you're gonna have a lot of apps, like even apps that the developers haven't designed to work with foldable phones are going to be able to be used a lot better alongside other apps. Um, so multitasking is getting better um, on this phone. Um, and then also too, with the, uh, the main display, we have this big, beautiful display, which still runs at 120 hertz. Um, but what you're also gonna be able to see is that this does have an under the display uh, front facing camera. So you can see that right there at the top right hand corner, um, you, you can still see it when like, when like the screen is black or you have like a black background and stuff. Um, but what you will see in this example is that uh, it looks a lot better when you do have like a video or something playing, especially full screen on it. It's pretty hard to see it from this particular angle. Now, I will tell you that the uh, under display camera still is visible. Okay, so uh, they told me one out of four pixels are going to be visible to you. So you can't see it from right here, but I did um, see some other clips of it where it is noticeable when you do have the screen on, even if you have something playing, you might see it just a little bit. Um, it doesn't seem like it will be distracting, definitely not as distracting as ad having just an actual regular hole punch, but it's not totally invisible. So I want people to know that the, the under display uh, front face camera on this phone is not completely um, invisible, um, but they have been working on trying using software and using different things to try to make that uh, a little bit more not visible than what you'll probably see here. But uh, definitely I think it's better than, I, I think it's a good step in the right direction. Um, as far as like these, uh, these screens where you don't wanna have that hole punch taking up space on your screen. Now, I also asked them about the quality of the front-facing camera here that's underneath the display because I've seen some other phones release the, this type of technology and you saw it decrease in the picture quality and the video quality. Um, but I asked Samsung directly and they said that you can expect around Samsung Galaxy S21 front-facing camera uh, results from it. So. Um, on this Z Fold 3, um, with the uh, uh, main display, under display camera, it should be similar to the S21's front facing camera. Um, so that's one of those things that that's gonna be one of the first things I test when I get this thing in hand. Um, just I'm gonna stack it up against that, that phone and really see how it stands up. But Samsung is pretty confident that you're not gonna have a loss in quality. They're gonna be using software to help kind of um, um, you know, bring down that whatever that that barrier of having that screen in front of the camera using software to kind of manipulate the image um, to make it look as good as possible. So that's that's a good thing. So I'm excited about that. All right, um, going back to the chat room here. What's up? What's up, Easy Ease? It's uh, 12:33, uh, 12:23 a.m. here in Sydney. Just wanted to say hi before bedtime. Oh, what's up? What's up? And he asked me, iPad Pro or the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold? I don't, that's an interesting choice. I will tell you that um, for me with the Galaxy Z Fold that I've been using, um, Z Fold 2, like I use it, like I don't pick up my iPad as much because I have this and because it's a big enough screen to where I like it and I'm totally fine. I don't wanna show you my, 
I don't know why I don't want to show you my uh, pattern. Like you, you're really going to see me in real life and try to take my phone from me. Um, but anyway, I love this screen. So I actually love this screen size and it's perfect for me for a lot of different use cases. Now, if I'm going on a long flight, I'm going to want that iPad Pro for that bigger screen. Um, but for a lot of shorter flights and then also you're chilling in an Uber or something, this screen is big enough to where I really get a lot of use out of it. And it's a photo, it's a, it's a tablet that fits in your pocket and you have this tablet with you everywhere. So if you've always like used the iPad and stuff, you know, I mean, it's, it's a good time to check out the new foldable phones. Um, so I would probably lean towards making that recommendation and it really depends on what you're trying to, trying to do. Uh, tech TV, uh, tech, tech. Yeah, Tech One TV, I believe, $200 less is cool, still really expensive though. Yes, it is. So it is cool, but again, they're making steps and taking $200 off of a, the price of a phone is a big thing. So it's a really big thing. And I think that, again, the, the biggest thing that we have to take into account is that there's really no one else doing this type of phone as consistent as Samsung. Again, Huawei does have their, um, their mate series of foldable phones, but again, they don't really play well here in the US because of the Google services ban and all that. Um, and Motorola only does the, the flip uh, phone type of style. So this is really all we got <laughs> for the most part. Um, and even compared to like Huawei though, uh, these were cheaper, like the Z Fold 2 and the original Fold were cheaper than the Huawei foldable phones. Um, and then now they're just making this even more affordable. So that's a good thing. But one thing you should know too, though, just really being honest with you, I got my Google assistant going off is that the, um, Samsung has the best trade in offers. So you can go to their reserve page right now. I don't have it in the description. I'm going to add it after I get done um, doing this live stream. Um, but they have the best trade in offers where you can get up to around like, I, I don't know the, is it the most that you can get, maybe around like 550 or 600 or so. Um, but like if you have a phone that you purchased within the last couple of years and it's like one of the latest iPhones or Samsung phones or something, you can get $400 easy out of that. Uh, you can get that back if you, if you do trade that in. And they are, uh, I think this might be the, the first time they've done it, but they are allowing you to, I think, trade up to two different devices uh, for this. So you could actually be able to trade um, two devices um, for the Z Fold 3 and you can bring that price down. You can get it on for under a thousand dollars easy if you want to do that, do it that way. So, um, and, but yeah, I still think that, you know, you, again, you look at the benefit of getting a tablet and a phone with you and what you will pay for a separate tablet. And it, it just depends on how you use your tablet. I like to use this. I like to use foldable phones on the go with me. So I think that extra price is worth it, but I definitely highly recommend you go check out Samsung's page um, for the pre-order deals. And then also to, um, take a look at some of the photos for it. Um, so also to, again, so $17.99 price point, um, it comes in two different storage configurations. So you can get this new Z Fold 3 and 256 or 512 gigabyte storage configurations, no micro SD card slot, um, no, uh, ch wall charger in the box either. We did ask him about that. Um, and they, um, so you can pre-order them today and then also they go on sale on the 21st. And um, again, again, speaking of the price point, you do get a pre-order bonus. So um, Samsung does a lot of cool pre-order bonuses. So you get $200 Samsung credit, which is nice. Um, and um, you get the, uh, if you go with the uh, three-year plan for Samsung Care Plus, you do get the first year free. So that's going to be the, like their, um, so that's going to be their um, uh, protection plans that you have. But yeah, $200 Samsung credit, which means that you can get the new Galaxy Buds 2, which they also announced, the new wireless earbuds, <laughs> which costs $150, um, or you can get something else if you want. So Samsung give you $200 credit, again, with those trade-in deals. I think it's a really good um, deal that you can get with these foldable phones. So Easy says, are these the phone? Yeah, yeah, these are the phones. I was able to get a, an early press briefing and get some more information to talk to Samsung about these phones. Uh, Mr. Sandboy asks, is it worth upgrading from the S10 uh, Plus um, to since there's no micro SD card slot, no headphone jack, and no charger in the box? That, you know, that depends on you, but I would say that those three things don't, I, I don't really need those things really anymore with, with new phones. So those things wouldn't hold me back from um, buying one of these new phones. But coming from the S10, which S10 Plus was an amazing phone, one of my favorite Samsung phones, you're going to find a big, big performance increase here. And foldable phones are just something totally different and totally new. So here's a look at some of the accessories here. So again, the one on the left here uh, looks like, I think that, so that is a case that does have a kickstand that's built into it. So I think that might be the uh, the case that I showed you before that had the S Pen storage, uh, but it has a little kickstand built in. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, and then also too, these little accessories right here, I'm not quite sure, I didn't ask Samsung about these, but I think they are like places where you can put your fingers in and have just more grip 
over the uh, the phone, or I don't know if those are kickstands or not, but I think those are just things where you can kind of like, you know, you have those little pop sockets and things if you want to kind of have a more sec secure grip on your phone. I think that's that might be what that is. And so here, look at this guy. I'm reading. No, but he's actually playing a game. <laughs> Even though I didn't notice with this, he needs to turn the phone the other way, right? So he can fold it up. Because you can't fold it up that way. You got to turn it portrait mode to be able to fold it up and, and, and try to hide it in that book. <laughs> He's like, who, who, me? Who, me? What am I doing? I'm playing the game. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, I like these colors. These colors look nice. Um, so yeah, Z Fold 3, pretty dope. I think it's a really good phone. And um, oh, I, I also have some other things I want to talk about with it. So the um, so with the display, uh, they have a new protective film on the display as well. So with the Z Fold, let me show you here. So with the... Um, so for Z Fold 2, you do have a protective film that's on it. You really can't see it here, but you can peel it off if you want to. But you do have a protective film that's on the, the main display. But um, Samsung says they've actually made a, a, a better design for that. And let me go ahead and see here. So they made it a new protective film, which is going to be 80% more durable than the previous devices, which is great. Um, or it's going to make the screen a total of 80% more durable than the uh, previous devices. So with that protective film, um, with also Gorilla Glass Victus that this does have, um, Samsung is saying is that that, that main um, display is going to be 80% more durable. So that's a, that's a huge jump up than the previous Z Fold 2. So again, durability was one of those things that people always had a concern with foldable phones, and Samsung is addressing that with this. Um, and again, along with that IPX, uh, IPX8 uh, water resistance, uh, that met better, better metal hinge with that armor aluminum, it's going to be great. So this does have 5G, of course. It does have um, a Snapdragon 888, Dolby Atmos, stereo speakers, um, 120 hertz for both the front facing and the, um, the uh, cover display and also the main display, as I mentioned before. Uh, but then also to, oh, I don't want to show you that yet. <laughs> We're going to talk about that here in a second. Um, and also it does have a 4,400 milliamp battery. So I don't know, I wish that was maybe around the 5,000 mark. Uh, but again, the size of the battery isn't always the story. Uh, it does depend on how they manage the, the software and also the hardware. But I have to tell you with the Z Fold 2, I've been pretty happy with the, the battery life, but just part of me wish it just, even, even how, good they, uh, how good they are with managing the battery life, I wish it was like maybe around 5,000. But you got a 4,400 milliamp battery inside of it. But also too, this phone is lighter than the Z Fold 2. So the Z Fold 3, is going to be 271 grams, and that's compared to the Z Fold 2, uh, which is 282 grams. So you're looking at 11 grams they've shaved off of this phone. That's pretty impressive. Again, that's pretty impressive to, for them to be able to do that, so I like that. The Z Fold 2 is, after a little while, is a little bit of a heavy phone to use on the daily, but uh, them making the Z Fold 3 a little bit lighter, good thing in my book. So again, um, just wrapping up here with the Z Fold 3, $1799, new lower price point, um, coming down from $1999. Really good deal, 256 and 512 gigabyte storage configurations. All right, before we move on to talk about the Z Flip 3, hit me up with any questions that you have in the chat room um, about these phones here. Um, so yeah, I just answered the price there for you. Uh, expandable storage is handy. Yes, it is, it is. Like I, in a perfect world, I definitely wish it did. All phones had expandable storage. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we're, uh, that's going away. I mean, some of the cheaper phones that are released on the market do have uh, expandable storage, but uh, yeah. But honestly, you know, I even with the 128 gigabytes, that's plenty for me, you know, because again, with internet speeds being consistent, um, if I'm just needing something, I can always just re-download it or something. So it's not that big deal with me, but yeah, I can definitely, I definitely wish it all had it. Uh, phone should be around 600, 700 max, trying to normalize the $2,000 bracket US connection. It's a foldable phone. I think... I think the one thing about the price point with these phones, um, <laughs> I didn't want to show you that. That's from a previous stream. Um, one thing about the, the price point with these phones is that, again, if, if they were easy to make and people could make them for $600, like all these other companies, they would be doing them already. Um, there's a reason that's really only Samsung. The Sam, again, Samsung is making multiple types of foldable phones. Huawei has their Mate series, which is a, a foldable phone like the Z Fold. Um, and then Motorola has their, their Motorola Razr phone, their, their clamshell phone. But there's a reason why Samsung is kind of leading the pack. And I think that it's hard to do. You have to be efficient at making it. And so getting this down to $600, $700 eventually, yes. I mean, honestly, you can buy like these foldable phones drop in price pretty drastically over the course of the, the first year that they come out. So 
you probably could, you probably could, you probably could get the uh, after the Z Fold three comes out, you could get this Z Fold two uh, for maybe around like I don't know eight hundred nine hundred bucks. Um, but yeah, I just think that is one of those things. Over time, um, it will come down. As you see here this year, it will come down in price. So that will be happening. And speaking of coming down in price, let's talk about the Z Flip three right now because that phone has also come down in price. And so the Z Flip 3, which I think looks so cool. It looks so good. So this is now um, coming from a starting um, a low price of $999. So a thousand bucks now, you can get the Z Flip 3, which I don't care. I don't care, man. That's a good price. That's a really good price to get this phone. And you're taking a look at the, uh, the different colors here of the Z Flip 3. So you can get them in cream and green, lavender and black, but also on Samsung.com, they do have some um, exclusive colors here. And let me see if I can pull those up for you. Um, so if you want some more colors here, you can go with the, let me see, where is it at? Da, 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 da. I don't think I have the, uh, I should have the pictures here. Hmm. I don't think I have it. I'll be able to pull up the uh, extra little uh, colors there for you of the Z Flip 3. But anyway, yeah, so you can get them in um, cream, green, lavender, and black from everywhere, but um, exclusive to Samsung, you'll be able to get them in pink, white, gray, um, pink, white, and gray. So that's Samsung.com exclusive colors. Um, so this one is the main thing that we have with the new Z Flip 3 is that it does have a bigger, bigger cover display on the front. So the previous one, as I can show you right here, so the previous one was, was super, super tiny. And so that just made it for like really not, you know, and you can kind of see the time and you can scroll through and do some things um, and look at a little bit of stuff. You can see your, your music that you might hate, might be playing. You can see some notifications can scroll through, but it wasn't that useful, right? Um, but one of the advantages of having a, a foldable flip phone like this is that a lot of times I just sit it on my desk like so and I leave it there. And it's kind of cool because it's not really as distracting as, as having just a phone, you know, totally open. But this smaller screen was just, you know, a little too small for, for doing anything that you really wanted to do. Um, but now this cover display for the Z Flip 3 is four times larger. So you have more access to see information for your notifications, uh, for your clock, uh, for your weather, your alarms. Um, you can use this with Samsung Pay now and you can uh, be able to navigate that all while the phone is closed. Um, because you have this bigger screen, which just, again, makes it a lot better. And um, scrolling through here. So you can see here, you can also add different photos and custom, you can customize it as well. Now, Samsung is also announcing some new Galaxy watches. Um, so you are able to actually kind of um, design the uh, cover display to kind of match the Galaxy watches here. And I'll show you here in a second. But again, yeah, you're able to just kind of scroll through those notifications while the screen is closed and then you can tap them open and then open up the phone and be able to see things. And you can see here just a difference in the amount of information that you can get with this new Z Flip 3. Um, and also here's a, an example of them using Samsung Pay and then using the fingerprint scanner on the side. So again, this is a look at one of the new Galaxy watches there on the left, but they have these new cover faces or just like, you know, wallpapers and things that you can use to match um, the cover display on this Z Flip 3 to the one on the watch, which is cool. It's dope. Uh, you can customize those little things right there on the front display. So useful. Um, and then also too, let's see here. And also too, yeah, you can just run like a, a photo slideshow as your background if you wanted to. So you can choose from your gallery and then you're gonna select multiple photos um, to be able to use with the Z Flip 3, um, which is nice. So I'm, I'm liking this main bigger cover display. That was one of the advantages that I really liked with the uh, Motorola Razr was that their cover display was a lot better. So um, yeah, with the Z Flip 3, you just have that bigger front display, which is nice. Um, now, um, so let's see. Now the main screen, so the big screen when you do unfold it, runs at 120 hertz. Um, and also does have some new flex panel features. So when you do uh, fold it open and stuff, uh, you will be able to you know, kind of fold and hold and hold it up in a particular way. And uh, that will allow you to have certain apps that can take advantage of that and work well with that, which is dope. Um, and it just looks cool, man. It looks really great. So they improved the, the cameras. They didn't really show a lot of camera examples. I don't think, I don't think they really even show me uh, camera examples with these phones I'm um, doing my briefings. Um, so I can't really tell you and speak to the quality that much. They really didn't spend a lot of time talking about the cameras. I think with these phones, they really just focus on the, the design. They're really focusing on the design, uh, the displays, the durability and stuff. Um, but they said they have improved the cameras. The cameras are going to be better, of course, in the previous generations. But the camera's going to be one of those things, kind of like a, a wait and see right now uh, to see how they stack up, especially against the, uh, the Galaxy S21 series. Uh, but yeah, 
So I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the, the camera performance. But yeah, just like the uh, Z Fold 3, this is rated IPX8, so it does have water resistant, um, a better water resistance. So it's gonna be able to, you can use it out in the rain, get a little bit wet. Uh, you can be more assured that it's gonna be more durable. And it does have the hinge that is gonna be more um, durable as well. It also too has those little bristles on the inside of it to be able to help you um, keep it nice and clean. So. Uh, yeah, the Z Flip. I'm really, I'm really, really looking forward to this one again for that nine, uh, nine thousand. No, I was about to say nine thousand. That nine hundred and ninety-nine dollar price tag. That is super, super attractive. So, oh boy, I can't wait. Um, so yeah. Anyway, um, the Z Flip Three. Make sure I didn't miss anything. So again, you can pre-order that today. Um, and that comes in two different storage configurations: 128 gigabytes and also 256 gigabyte storage configurations. One of the things I would like to have seen, like a 512 gigabyte version, um, but you have those two versions. 256 is plenty for me, but I know some people who just want more, especially when you don't have that micro SD card. So I would have liked to have seen another storage uh, variation for that. Now this one, you will get a $150 Samsung credit if you do buy the uh, new Galaxy Z Flip 3. So you get that uh, if you buy it from Samsung. Um, then also, too, you do get that same Samsung Care offer, as I talk, talked about with the Z Fold 3. So if you get the three-year plan, you get the first year free. Um, so this one does have a 3,300 um, 3, milliamp hour battery um, in the Z Flip 3. And $999. Again, that price point looks good, man. I'm sorry. looks good. So, yeah, you got 5G. You got all those um, familiar things that we always talked about uh, with this. So it looks good. And I, I think, again, that cover display is that, that main big thing here just being way more useful. And, and I love the Z Flip. I love using my original OG. This is the first Z Flip, not the 5G version. Um, um, but yeah, I really like using this one because when I'm going, like when I'm riding my bike and stuff, uh, it fits deeper in my pocket because it's not like a regular smartphone as far as the size. So I really, really, really like that. Uh, so nothing to fear, looking in the chat room, nothing to fear says it looks small. Yeah, it looks tiny. It's cute. <laughs> it is a cute little phone. Uh, Mr. Urban World says, I just bought the Surface Duo. I'm not sure I will upgrade to Fold 3 this holiday season or not. Ooh, Surface Duo, huh? Yeah, um, the Z Fold 3, I, I, <clears throat> look, I, I'm a big fan of the Z Fold series, so um, Surface Duo, you know, I actually haven't, I haven't purchased it. I, I used it for a little bit. I didn't actually buy it because I didn't think I was going to use it. Um, but it'll be interesting to see if Microsoft does uh, release a new version of the Surface, which I think there, ha there have been some leaks and rumors about that. So they released a new version of the Surface Duo. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, Martin Hobbies says, it would be better if this has the S Pen. Yeah, so you don't get S Pen support with the, um, the Galaxy um, Z Flip. So you want to get that with the Z Fold 3. And again, you just can't use any, um, can't, you just can't use any S Pen. You have to use um, the ones that are made for the Fold because they do have that retracting uh, pen tip. Uh, Tech One, does the Z Fold 3 come with uh, Bluetooth 5.1 or 5.2? Um, I'm not sure. Let me see if I can pull that up real quick. I'll pull that up. I'll try to see if I can pull that up for you. I do have a uh, patient with all the, the, the tech specs. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So, but look, I'm really excited for these phones, man. And the biggest things with these phones is just the price. That price difference that you get, that price decrease is awesome. Really, really, really going to make it, and again, it's going to be still more expensive than what some people want to use, but it's going to make it better. So it comes with Bluetooth 5.2. So the Z Fold 3 comes with Bluetooth 5.2. And also let me check on the Z Flip 3 and see what it comes with. Thanks for the question. I like getting these uh, this information here. Um, let's see. Looking for connectivity. There we go. Yeah, so both of them come with Bluetooth 5.2. That answers your question there. Appreciate the question. <laughs> yeah, they do look great. Samsung gets it. Look, again, I, I think with... Foldable phones, Samsung really is just leading the pack right now. They're just leading the pack. Simple. Now, I do have a, uh, let me try to find, I have some pictures of the Z Flip that I want to show you. 
But first, let me get to that. So I'm going to have to bring that over here into OBS. Um, so here, now, there will be some Thomas Brown editions. So Samsung likes to do these Thomas Brown editions where um, they have these uh, exclusive colors and designs and wallpapers and different things like that. So they have that this year. And these are even more expensive <laughs> than the normal price versions. So um, go with it. But here's a look at the new, one of the new Galaxy watches here. Um, and then also, too, here are the new Galaxy Buds. It plays. There we go. So these are the new Galaxy Buds 2, which cost $150. Um, so you have that. And then also, too, so they, they come with, uh, let's talk about them. I think, yeah, I have this little clip about the Galaxy Buds 2. I'll talk about those in a second. So let me get back to the Thomas Brown edition. So th those are the Galaxy Buds 2. That's the S Pen here and that Thomas Brown edition. I think these look cool. These look, they have like a little bit of a, like an Olympic vibe as far as like the US colors, red, white, and blue, right? Um, but here's the Z Flip 3, the watch, and also the buzz in this Thomas Brown edition. That's dope. That's hot, man. Now, look, I don't know if I'll ever pay the price for these, but I think they do look good. Andrew Edwards will probably get them. He's balling out of control. I think he normally gets the uh, Thomas Brown editions as well. Uh, but I think they look cool. They look dope. I like the style of them. And that's the, uh, that's the box that you can get some of them in and look at this so i really like this like all the accessories so it looks like that's a what is that yeah, that's definitely not a u.s adapter so you don't get that in the box or i wonder if the thomas brown edition of the u.s version of it will have a wall charger i'm assuming it will uh, but i like that case for the the z flip 3 that little leather case there it looks like it's leather for the uh, thomas brown edition looks dope it, it looks cool out of all the thomas brown editions i would have to say these look the best still I don't know if I'm going to pay for that price for them, but I think these are like the best looking special editions of them. And they do come with some with some um, wallpapers that I'm pretty sure you can download. After someone gets these, they'll put them up on the internet. But they do come with some uh, Thomas Brown edition wallpapers there. <laughs> All right, so let me bring up, I wanted to show you some, um, let me, I have to add this to my thing here. I wanted to show you some more pictures of the uh, Z Flip 3 because they have some cool accessories for them. I don't think I have them. I don't think I uploaded them. Hmm. Fail. Fail, fail, fail. All right, while I'm doing this, I'm going to pay attention to the chat room. Um, you would like to see another Instagram slow motion snow video like the one you posted with the Fold 3 this time? Um, which one was that? Um, slow motion snow video. What was I doing? Was I like walking with the phone, holding it in my hand? Like I'm getting old. I posted, <laughs> I post so much stuff. I can't remember what I did with the uh, the foldable phone. Uh, Mike Mikish, Mikeish. I might be messing up your name. Nice to see a lower price point for Samsung. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. I mean, the, the lower price point is the big thing, man. It's the big thing here. Seeing that lower price point is dope. Uh, how much is the Z Fold Three again? It is seventeen ninety nine. But again, go to their website. They have a lot of cool. Uh, uh, trade-in deals, a lot of really great aggressive trade-in deals. Like you can get four or five hundred dollars back depending on the phone. And but I think they also are allowing you to trade up to two phones. So it might you might have like a four-year-old phone or something that you're not using. You might be able to get a couple of hundred dollars back for that. So I think if you really think about it, if you use the trade-in deals, right? So if you use the trade-in deals, you could with these lower price points and if you trade in maybe two phones you could get both of these phones for under a thousand dollars all right compared to the normal price of the z fold uh z fold 2 was two thousand dollars so i think you could get both of these phones for under two thousand dollars if you work your trade-ins right if you trade in two phones at least and again you take into account you are getting a 200 dollars samsung credit if you get the z fold 3 you get 150 dollars samsung credit if you get the z flip 3 you take that into account. You can save some money. You can get some things. Samsung is really aggressive on their uh, trading deals. Again, this guy right here. Turn the phone around. <laughs> you ain't hiding nothing. Like if somebody's coming, like if your mom is coming in, right? One, I, I mean, if you're a little kid with a foldable phone, you balling out of control. But if your mom's coming in, you got the, the phone inside of a book. You got to turn it portrait. So when you close it, it will fold on top of each other. <laughs> I got to talk to Samsung about correcting this ad. I'll talk to them. Uh, Mr. Urban World says, uh, I posted a downtown video a while back while it was snowing. It was pretty dope. The video was around 10 seconds. Yeah, I'll try to go back and look at it. It sucks. <laughs> I feel bad not remembering the video. But I was walking in the snow with the Z Fold. Huh. 
a downtown video. Was that oh was that in what was I in New York? I don't know. I can't remember. I'll try to uh, I'll try to figure that out. All right, so let me see. I thought I, I I made a video talking about some photos of the uh, Z Flip Three. So it has some really nice photos. Let me see if I actually uploaded that. I might not have. Yep, I did. Downloading. So I edit, I edit all of my videos and do all that stuff on my other uh, computer over here. This is like my, my streaming setup. Because I wanted to show you just um, some uh, different photos here. So which one am I going to go to? I'm going to use this one and I'm going to add. So yeah, I think that's, so for me, like the Z Flip 3 is like that, that really perfect, um, everyday smartphone and then the z fold 3 you can use every day looks like but i you know sometimes just again when i'm riding my bike or something that phone is a little big it's a little bit heavy for those type of situations where the z flip 3 would kind of um would kind of be uh, fit in really nicely so z flip 3 pictures boom boom and add this and i'm gonna bring it down so you see me there we go all right so here are some uh, photos of the z flip 3 so here's all the different colors that have come in um, again, you do have some exclusive colors that are um, only available on Samsung.com. That's going to be pink, gray, and white. Um, but it, mo but pretty much everywhere you'll be able to get the cream, green, lavender, or black colors. And I'm liking these two-tone colors, right? As far as like you have the hinge, which is going to be black, and then you also have the uh, that bigger cover display is going to be black, and that's going to be the glossy part. But the color part of this is going to be a matte finish, and it's going to feel a lot better in your hand. One of my downsides of the uh, original Z Flip was that it was a super glossy, slippery foam. Uh, but with the 5G version of this, they did make it better uh, with a matte finish. So here's a look at um, some of these accessories here that they have for it. So this is this type of loop case. I guess you can put it on like a keychain, or you can put it on your bag or something. Those are little loops. I don't know if I want to put <laughs> my phone on my bag or something, but uh, maybe there are some reasons you might want to have that. Um, and maybe that helps with holding it. I don't know. I'm not too uh, quite sure on that little key loop there. But they also have these little things, these little, I don't even know what this is, to be honest with you. Like the one with the flip. I don't know what, what ex okay, oh, there it is. So this one allows you to have a better grip on the back of your hand. So, okay, so both of them, well, the one with the key ring is just kind of, I don't know, if you want to kind of hold it in your hand, fold it, and walk around with it. I don't know. But I do see some use out of the, uh, the one with the, uh, the big flip on it. So you can put your fingers in. A lot of people do use that, those little pop sockets, the little things where you can put it on the back of your phone to give you a better grip. Uh, so here's a look at some of those. Uh, here's a look at one of the, uh, the leather cases here for it, which um, I used on my original Z Flip. I really like that leather case. It really just gives you even more grip. So I think I might still get this. I might still get the uh, leather case for my Z Flip 3 when I get it. And here's a look at this uh, finger holdy thingy <laughs> on the back of them. Look at that. All right, so what do y'all think? What do y'all think about these phones? Again, Z Fold 3, new low price, $17.99, S Pen support, uh, more durable, IPX8 uh, water resistance, more uh, reinforced hinge. You have 120 hertz as far as the cover display and also the main display. You have that underneath display uh, front facing camera that just kind of dis well, doesn't completely disappear, but it does kind of disappear when you are watching videos and stuff. And uh, let me go ahead and bring up that video again. So again, you can still see it when the screen is like completely off or if you have like a black background, but they're showing here when you are watching the video, it's up in the top right hand corner. So only one out of the four pixels are showing. So if you have the right video playing and stuff, you're not gonna see it um, really, but um, if you are watching a movie that has like letterboxing, you'll still be able to see the camera a little bit. So it's not completely invisible, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. And I think if, as long as that quality doesn't decrease, I think it's a, I think it's a good thing. I'm excited for it. So Mr. Urban Well says you work from home in a cloud gamer, so I could never go without um, a foldable phone again. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, foldable phones are so fun, man. It's one again, the price point, I think a lot of people uh, that kind of keeps people from wanting to go with it um, and also durability. And Samsung definitely is uh, working on that. Uh, Tech One TV, does the Galaxy Buds 2 replace the Galaxy Buds Live or Galaxy Buds Pro? 
Um, no, they don't replace them. I mean, I mean, not uh, Samsung hasn't announced them that way. Uh, but they are $150. You do get ANC. You do get their um, ambient sound mode um, to be able to let that world in. They have multiple mics on them to help them out with uh, noise reduction when you are using them. Um, but yeah, they, they are the lowest the lowest price point in their Buds lineup. Um, they said they work with the Fit to really try to make them feel and fit in your ear better. Um, but with the active noise cancellation, you get up to 98% noise reduction. Um, and you do get uh, these in four different colors, graphite, white, olive, and lavender. And I like how the inside of the case matches the color of the earbuds. I do like that little touch. So I, you know, with these though, I kind of wish they could reach that $100 price point. Um, you know, we're seeing a lot of really good, you know, uh, wireless earphones come out for about $100 that have A and C, that have the transparency mode and stuff. Um, so I wish that these would have hit that $100 price point. I think that would be a good sweet spot for Samsung. And maybe, you know, in a couple of months, Samsung <laughs> drops the price of their, of their things um, quite regularly. So they could get down to a price point on a sale or something. Um, but here's a look at them in your ears. So these definitely with the different colors, uh, they can look like a little Mentos. <laughs> A little Mentos uh, inside of your ear like that. Um, I would, you know, with in-ear buds, I typically go with with black to try to help them blend in just a little bit there. But um, but Samsung says they worked on just like the comfort and fit and feel of these to make them feel a lot better in your ear. So yeah, new Galaxy Buds two are available. So you can pre-order all that stuff today. I think you can pre. Well, I don't know if you can pre-order these. I don't think you can pre-order these. I don't think it's no reason you can pre-order. But I think. Let me make sure this date is correct. I think August 27th, they'll be available for $149.99. So $150 bucks for these Galaxy Buds 2. So yeah, I mean, I would say that, so in a way, so yeah, someone asked me a question, do these replace the Galaxy Buds Live? I would say just thinking, that, like the Galaxy Buds Live had A and C, but they weren't real like noise reduction A and C, to be honest with you. Just certain you know, buzzes and stuff and the certain hums and, and frequencies. But this one should have like, like a more traditional ANC. Um, so yeah, this would, if, if, I don't see why you would get the Galaxy Buds Live when you have these. So I would go with these over the Galaxy Buds Live any day of the week. So yeah, anyway, any more questions? Any more questions about these new phones? So yeah, um, Mr. Overworld, if I upgrade it, it will, will be towards the, um, it's a pleasure to hear your voice. So that, that's Jibo back there. So Jibo wakes up every once in a while and starts talking, especially when I'm on a live stream. Um, <laughs> uh, but Mr. Uh, Overworld says if I upgrade it, it will be towards the Z Fold 3 this December, uh, towards Christmas. If they are still in stock and no shortages appear. Yeah. I don't, I don't think there'll be shortages with these foldable phones just because of that price point. And especially by December, since they're going to be launching in this month. By December, they'll, you know, most of the people who wanted them right away. Those early adopters will already have them. So they should be in stock. You should be good on that. Um, how often do I use NFC? Not that often. Not, not often at all. It's good to have when you want to use it. But yeah, I don't, I don't use it that often. I don't use it like every week. Maybe once a month. But that's maybe. But definitely a few times a year. And I'm glad I have it. All right, so yeah, anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you guys uh, kind of, a, again, I got a little bit of a sneak peek on the Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3, a little bit of a background um, on these phones and kind of wanted to just, look, I'm excited for them. Foldable phones are here to stay, apparently. Uh, Samsung is doing a pretty good job and um, at dropping the prices for these, keeping up that design, making them more durable, you know, kind of bringing those feature sets up. I'm really, really interested in the camera quality though. Um, the camera quality on the uh, Z Fold 2 and the Z Flip 3, just after using the S21 Ultra, like I'm a little bit spoiled by that phone. So I want to see an, an increase um, in the camera quality. So we'll, we'll see. Again, Samsung didn't spend too much time talking to us about the cameras um, and showing a lot of different examples of how they just like better than the previous versions. But I have my hopes up. But yeah, with the OG Galaxy Fold right here, I still have that bad boy with the Z Fold 2. Then also my uh, original Z Flip 3 here. Look, I am a, a foldable fanatic. I'm excited about these phones, so I can't wait to see, get these in hand to try them out, test them out, and do my reviews. As you know, I'm going to do here on YouTube. So if you are watching me for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. If you've already been watching me, make sure you hit that notifica notification bell so you get notified when I do go live or upload some uh, more videos. <laughs> he said, man, this channel is nostalgia. Yeah, I'm an old man. I've been around. 
been around the block. <laughs> oh man, I'm an old man on here. But all right, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Again, you can go watch Samsung's Unpacked, which um, I haven't actually watched their Unpacked stream, which has been happening right now. It might be still be going on or it might be ended. So they might have announced some special things or something. So I'm about to go ahead and go, go ahead and start watching that. But again, stay tuned for my full review unboxings and stuff over these new Galaxy Z Fold 3 and also the Galaxy Z Flip 3. But I want to thank you for watching this live stream. And also, if you're, just, if you're just watching the video replay, I thank you for watching too. And I will catch you later. Peace.